everybody. Um, I'm going to post a video of um, for everybody who's helping with the parade float for Miss Abilities. I'm going to record almost like a how-to so that if you guys forget for any reason over the co next couple of days that you can come back and reference the video. Okay, so um, all right, here we go. Okay, so first things first is everyone that's helping should have gotten um, a piece of chicken wire with some tissue paper just like this um, with the colors in angles. And this is pretty much what the back of the chicken wire should look like for everyone who is helping out. Okay, so now that you've seen that, first things first is we need to cut the tissue paper. So, obviously I only have two hands, but so the way that the way that you're going to be cutting this is completely down the middle. Um, I'm actually going to have Jaden come and hold the camera and record me cutting this. So, do you have the whole thing in the frame, Jay? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to... This does not need to be perfect. If you have, um, like a paper cutter, obviously that would be ideal. But I don't, so scissors. So you're going to cut that in half and then you're going to double it up. Now, as you can see, mine are off quite a bit, but it's all going to work out in the end. So then you're going to come to that and cut that in half. Are you still recording mm -hmm. what I'm doing? Okay, and then you're going to double that and cut that in half. So, in the end, you'll have a big pile of a long rectangle shape of the green and the white and the pink. You will need to do it for, sorry, you'll need to do it for all of them. So the next thing you're going to do is um, make little sections white, pink, white, or three white, or white, green, white. Okay. Um, so once you have the white, green, white, you're going to do an accordion fold. So you're going to do it um, short ways, like a hamburger fold, and you're just going to do that and flip it, just like you're making a little fan or an accordion. Flip, 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 flip. Watch out! And watch out, watch out. you were going to hear Joanna screaming in the background. Jaden, make sure that you're getting the whole thing in there. Okay. Okay. Watch Just out, make sure you've got it on my hands. Watch out, Jay. And then, not on my, on, not on me, nothing but my hands. All right. Sorry, guys. So it should look like that. All right. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, I've already got it set up here. So um, I'm going to set the green one down that we just folded. And I'm going to come into the pattern. Um, and I'm going to go over that with you. So if you guys can see, there is white at the top. And... And up at the top, we have white, and then you have one, two, three, and then you have another white on the fourth one. If you look on the next row is the colors. So you've got pink, and then one, two, three, green. So the next one will be one, two, three, pink on the fourth one because what we're doing is we're alternating the pink and green and we are doing the white every time. So this entire first row is white and then the second row is pink and green. The third row is all white. So you'll see again, white, one, two, three, white. Now, 
I've already got a couple in here inserted, so I'm just going to show you. I'm I'm getting ready to do these. I have a white, and then one, two, three, and then on that fourth one is where I'm going to wrap this piece around it. So remember, this is the underside of the chicken wire and you guys can see that I've already done this one and you can see whoops that I did white one two three white okay so you guys can see that I'm fluffing so I'm on the front side now and I have the two pieces facing up so I'm going to take the accordion. We don't want it to just open like this. What we're going to do is turn it just a little bit so that it's facing in towards each other. And then we're going to take the piece from the middle and fluff that out first and then fluff the second part out. So we'll come over to the other half of that fan that we just made. And again, we're gonna turn it just a teeny bit. If you guys can see, I have it sideways, whereas this one is not. We're doing that just so that it faces towards each other so that it separates easier. The white is kind of a pain in the butt to separate, so don't get frustrated. Just um, And then once you've done that, you just fluff a little bit. I will also add, guys, that as you can see, you're going to need something weighted and heavy to hold down the middle. And um, my husband was able to find a clamp, which has been quite helpful um, in holding that down as well. But if you don't have a clamp, you can just use something heavy. If you can see, I've kind of got it sneaking in so that it's not actually on any tissue paper. I slid it underneath. It's just holding the wire down. So you can find something super heavy um, to hold that piece down as well. So once you get into a groove with it, and you guys can see the, the wire is curving, once you get into a groove with it, this is how it's going to start to look. Yes. And you guys can see that there is just a little bit of an angle, and I'll stand up to come a little bit higher up. You guys can see that there is an angle and there's lots of white with just little poofs of pink and green. Okay guys, um, so that was it. If you have any questions at all whatsoever, um, comment and ask me. Thank you all so much for helping make this. It means the world to me that you guys are putting in so much work. I know I'm crazy to have come up with such a a time-consuming design but I really think that it's gonna look really spectacular and that's what we want for these girls we want our Miss Abilities beauties to feel absolutely gorgeous when they're going through this parade and I want them to have a float that reflects how beautiful they truly are um, so yeah if you have any questions comment uh, down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible I'm gonna be up pretty late doing this um, so alright thanks guys Bye.